Greetings everyone and welcome back to Captain of Industry for what may well be the final episode of our Alpha coverage. Now I have tried to time the release of this episode and indeed the recording of it in such a way that if it does happen to be the last episode there won't be very long of a wait for us in store before beta is released and with beta well we may start a new series or we might continue this one depending on the way the updates go but i am aware that there are going to be several new maps available with beta and i am quite itching to get started with those so there is a very good chance that uh, we will be starting a fresh save now with that said and done there are a couple of things that we have yet to do on this island though we have left it in a fairly good state as of uh, right now in fact so good that we are only having to run two farms to provide all of the food for our people but over here is getting a little bit crowded so let's start off by addressing something I noticed right away as I was preparing to start the recording. And let's actually get those areas filled in properly. Especially that one, my lord. All right, now that being said, uh, we are doing okay down here. We're currently working our way through the coal. Iron, we're probably going to have to start excavating down soon. But as of right now, iron itself isn't actually the problem. Uh, it is steel. Now, if we have a look at the conveyors, we can easily see that the iron ore is backing up on steel smelting, so we can probably get an entire steel smelting setup up and running without too much trouble. As for our ship, uh, let's see. We're currently depositing steel and copper to upgrade it. But I'm kind of feeling that maybe we need to work on some other things. So I'm actually going to cancel that. I know, I know, I know. But steel is is one of the things that we're running shy on right now. So I want to try and help fix that. And one of the things that we're going to need to do is going to need to cleave off some of this cliff face. So that our um, vehicles can maneuver around extra smelting stacks for steel. And for that, we're going to need the steel that we had tied up in the ship upgrade because the very first thing we're going to be doing in today's episode is we are going to activate or rather build the large excavator now with the steel that we've just freed up from the ship we should be able to just go ahead and quick build immediately we had the steel to spare so we're just using the quick build option just to get everything delivered nice and fast and on that note we're actually uh, i think we're capping out on our unity uh, yeah, more or less. So, is there anything else that I can possibly, uh, start? Uh, we don't really need growth boost. No, we absolutely... Wow, you are chonky. Can I just get you to move somewhere? I cannot, but I would really like to see... Okay, so very briefly, I'm gonna add this excavator to this group. Just so I can see a proper size comparison, because wow, that thing looks huge. It looks like if it... Like... Yeah, the, the just the arm, the, the hinge of the bucket arm looked like it would have been scraping the roof of our garage. That is actually quite impressive. Uh, I would also very much like two trucks. So let's quick build both of these. Oh, actually, I'll just add the second one in. But uh, we've easily got the materials there for it. Wow, look at it. Just dwarfs. Those are tiny, tiny little trucks. Thankfully, collisions don't matter. But if they did, that those trucks would have just gotten crushed beneath the uncaring treads of this gigantic machine here. Now, note that this is just called the excavator, not a large excavator. The other ones just happen to be small excavators. And that is partially, uh, I imagine, because the developers did manage to hit one of their stretch goals which was to add the big big serious excavating equipment don't 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 throw your life away oh wow almost collision but look at the size of this thing it's amazing i don't actually want you over here though so we're going to immediately remove you from that and i'm going to send you over here milado along with two trucks to help you get rid of everything as quickly as we possibly can have we got everything we need for this one yes yeah, we've easily got copper. We've got copper for days. Uh, rubber actually starting to to drop a little bit. That's partially because we don't really uh, store it uh, in any great amount. Uh, I think we actually only have uh, one, though it can, can go as high as 180. Perhaps one of the first things we'll do then is we'll actually add uh, another one in there. Uh, then I will tell them to stop exporting 
from this one and only export from the other. But with two trucks, this should be a lot easier to uh, cleave through here. Now, the one concern, obviously, is that this is almost going to fill one of these trucks, I believe. It has uh, a bucket size of... Can I get any extra information about, about this one? Uh, does it show me the size of its cargo? It might do as soon as it tries to grab something, but we know the, the cargo capacity of the trucks is uh, 60, I believe. But let me let me just double check. It's easy enough to find out. Uh, this has a max bucket capacity of 20, whereas the other ones have 6. This has 60, whereas the trucks have 20. So this excavator would completely fill a regular truck in just one scoop. But we'll take three scoops for each of these. However... Even though I've got two, they're going to have a long distance to travel. So I would like to see, since we happen to have two uh, storage areas over here, we've got one for rock, one for dirt, and that's realistically all we can expect to be excavating from here. It does look like both mining towers can make use of them. That is very, very good. So what we will hopefully see is these trucks will drop off over here, and then these will be emptied by any of the uh, the rest of our logistics fleet. That would actually be pretty amazing. Now, I'm keeping a close eye on our food production. Basically, the moment we've emptied the food production over here, I'm going to activate one of these, or perhaps I should upgrade it. Yes, yeah, so let's start the upgrade on this, and then I'll turn that on. But Honestly, I think three will probably cover our food requirements for the rest of the game, realistically speaking. But my lord, this thing is making a dent already. That is actually really, really quite impressive. And these trucks do not have very far to travel. But this is part of the problem. Is This is such a tight squeeze over here that I don't really want to do too much work in expanding out our steel production whilst this is going to be a problem but what we can do is we can build from the back up and that should give uh, that should give our excavator some time to make some room so let's get these in place and also you let's line you up correctly i believe that is correctly lined up yes indeed it is fantastic and we're going to want some molten channels so i'm going to allow that one to be built first and while all of that's going down i noticed that we're actually creeping towards our energy consumption now one of the things <laughs> honestly it's so easy for me to see it like at a glance like I, this is the better way for me to uh, get that kind of information but can we all just take a moment to appreciate that uh, it is actually pretty cool to just be able to come over here and get a visual representation of how much we're using our, our energy capacity <laughs> just by seeing which turbines are spinning that tells me that we are almost certainly going to need to set this up very soon with a third, uh, a third powered, uh, like drive, I guess. Hmm, that one's going to be a finicky one because that's actually a lot of advanced materials involved in that. That being said, we do actually have quite a few, which is very, very nice to see. Uh, oil rig fuel outpost. Uh, has full output storage. Okay, well, the tanker is on its way. How are we doing down here? We're doing fine. Oh, also, I I, I will genuinely be bemused if by the end of this entire series, we haven't even gotten through the oil that was available right at the beginning. I mean, to be fair, we did try to, to move on to uh, the oil rigs fairly early on, but still, that, it's kind of amusing to me. Oh, wow, you've made some really good progress over here. Uh, okay, well, uh, I want them to be specifically making steel, and this can only produce steel once it's uh, fed with molten iron, but yeah, we definitely need to try and get in there as quickly as we can. Let me just have a quick look at you. Well, honestly, this excavator is doing a remarkably good job, but I'm going to undesignate these sections at the back, just so that the excavator will prioritize cleaving off this front part and then we'll continue pushing it back a little bit i think uh, that seems to me the best way to to make room for our trucks to get through how are they doing over here um the well the trucks are doing a good job of collecting everything that we're producing how are we doing for maintenance i can see over there that we've got all we want but is that because oh yes actually it's because we're starting to backlog the steel excellent absolutely wonderful in fact uh well we can afford to get three more trucks before we actually start 
needing to recall the smaller trucks and replace them. But I'm not going to fast build those, I'm just going to allow them to take their time and uh, get built as and when materials allow. But while all that's going down, uh, let's go ahead and hook up all of the exhaust pipes, etc. over here. Now, I am very finicky about these. I really, really do like it when they all connect up the right way. And they look, they have like a uniform appearance. I think that has given the slopes in the right place. It does look that way to me, at the very least. <laughs> we will see, I suppose. Uh, these ones seem to immediately rise. So they, they kind of twist straight out into a rise. Let's hook that up and hopefully that'll, that'll uh, be similar. It does look like that's all the same. You don't need to worry about these kinds of details, by the way, at all. I'm just really, really finicky about it. Unashamedly so, but I do like to uh, make make it very clear when when I'm having to go to extra through extra steps f because of me rather than because the game makes it so. But uh, we are actually making some really really good progress on this, so I'm fairly happy with that. We're not going to lay down the conveyors just yet, though. I don't want to force all of my uh, vehicles, you have to go a really silly way with that if we can avoid it. Right, I want this to be connected up straight in there. There we go. And the molten channel we can place down as well. There we are. And just connect that up. Perfect. Our vehicles should be able to squeeze through where necessary in order to hook everything up. But as it stands, things are looking actually pretty good. How are we doing with producing more vehicles? Oops, that is not what I'm meant to do. Uh, we're actually working our way through the first one. Fantastic. Let's hope that we can keep that up. And yes, as we can see there, we've actually gone to the point now where we are uh, starting to empty out our food supplies. So I'm glad to be upgrading this, uh, this farm uh, when we decided to. I think that was the right time. Now, another project that I've kind of been sitting on and not really committing to yet is the idea of running a coal from here at least to a few of these industries just delivering the coal directly now the first one that we could easily do is to deliver it to the uh, to the copper smelting area uh, Getting it over here would be a much bigger fuss, but may well be worth it. Uh, at this point, this bridge is absolutely unnecessary. There is no reason to have this bridge there whatsoever. Well, I suppose, I suppose in the very unlikely event that we need to f to uh, fuel the coal maker, then I suppose that bridge does make sense. But the odds of us needing that, like if, if we got to a point where we needed to uh, bootstrap our production again by feeding into a coal, uh, sorry, a charcoal maker, I would consider that a fail state of our run. That would be absolutely abysmal. But what we will do is we are going to draw this out all the way up and connect it up to the copper line, I think. Uh, now, what would be the best way of doing this? Uh, well, you could branch off here to the iron whilst coming to the side and just hopping over to head on to the copper. I think that would probably be the best way of doing it. Bring this all the way down and up, ideally, like that. And ooh, now we hit a bit of a snag. You see, what I would like to do... <laughs> wow, that is such a snaky route. But I suppose it works, technically. Uh, which I, I guess is one of the better ways for things to work. Technically working is completely okay. Uh, but there we are. We can deliver coal directly to the silo this way. And at that point, we don't actually need 
any future deliveries to this side, which will be which will take a little bit of the strain off the logistics network moving coal around. Now this one is going to be bloody expensive. Most of our advanced components and more rubber than we currently have. So it's going to take some time for that one to build up. Uh, though on that note, I want to remove imports. This is no imports. And this one is neither at this point. Don't export, don't import. Just allow the rubber to flow through. Honestly, it may be worth us expanding our production of rubber. And to do that, we would need to expand the amount of uh, diesel we're producing. That being said, well, there's almost zero point in doing that because we are stockpiling diesel rather aggressively. But still, yeah, no, th there really is no reason to because the diesel would basically uh, just back stuff and then the, the second setup would just shut down because it wouldn't be able to to shed the diesel and i'm not gonna just pour diesel into the ocean just so that i can make extra rubber that just sounds absolutely ridiculous uh right how are we going over here oh you wow it looks like you just finished what fantastic timing you have because i would very much like to hook this up and we'll grab you i would like that to be on the second level if i can Right about there, there we are. Come one forward, or just go straight down. Either way, it doesn't really much matter. And, oh, ooh, wait, did I set that one up to be a second tier? Can I see? Is there a way for me to find out? No, that's just a U-shaped conveyor. This is a U-shaped conveyor. They're not, uh, they're not upgraded in any way. I don't want to build upgraded versions there if I didn't have them elsewhere. And that connects up here. And with that, we will have a third uh, steel smelter operation up and running. That'd be perfect. Let's get that one set up. All right, marvelous. And I think that should put us in a position where not only will we be able to get more uh, vehicles built faster, but we can finally start looking to upgrade our ship. And on that note, let's actually check out the map. Now, the engine upgrade, which will take a long time for us to build, will allow us to visit more of these locations, but I think this is the only one left now that we can we can actually reach with our current setup. And we might as well go and say hello, I suppose. Uh, how are we doing down here? Things are starting to fill in rather nicely. Good, good, good. Uh, let's actually just double check and make sure that that one is properly filling in. I think that one was once designated for excavation rather than filling. So need to make sure that they're doing that properly. But little by little, we're actually starting to get this area set up properly. There we are. And we'll just remove those just so I've got uh, a clear sight on where I need to do more work. I'm a little bit worried about how little of the the mountain of iron yet remains and let's uh, go and check in on our tree harvester and it's two large trucks helping it out there. Okay not too bad not too bad at all we'll just get rid of that one for now but let's see if I can't speed this along a little bit. Do we have the materials need? We don't. Then I'm not going to. That is a sadness. Do we have them here? We we also don't. Ah, damn you, rubber. All right, then. Well, we're going to let a little bit of time pass. I'm going to allow this to build out. And uh, once you return, we will hopefully have this conveyor complete as well. So see you in just a second. It looks like our excavator, in its eagerness to help and show its worth, has caused a bit of a landslide. Well, I mean, we all knew that uh, soil tended to flow downhill, but this is probably the most obvious and, and uh, well, I, I guess, uh, rather than obvious, the most visual representation of that happening. We've seen it happen a little bit on a small scale in the in the coal mine, but wow, that is just spilt all the way down there. It's actually kind of cool to see. 
Right, but I'm going to leave you there to clean that up. We have got our belt finished and it is already starting to ferry coal along. Now, this has led me to realize there's a bit of a problem now. With this completed, we're not really getting much coal over here and that is running kind of contrary to uh, what we hoped to do, which was increase our steel production. We've also unlocked research lab three and in fact on that note we need to start having a look at the next thing to research most of the remaining items that we can research are behind lab three but i think we're going to go ahead and unlock the truck uh, the truck edict so we've got another way of spending our unity now it doesn't really seem like this is a problem with the amount of coal we're excavating though we are starting to pull up a little bit of soil here and there for the most part i would say that we are still bringing large amounts of coal the issue is is this is this has kind of it needs time to saturate before we'll start seeing coal return so with that in mind we're gonna go and do a bit of trading and no i'm not going to do the same thing i did last time and that is mix up which side was what uh, i can't believe i was selling steel to get these <laughs> Oh, that hurts so much. But this time, uh, we've got a couple of trades around. Now, where was it? There we are. Diesel for coal. I am more than happy to take that trade. I'm happy to do it for, for 60, for 140, for 90, for 140. For 140. For 140. Well, that's getting a little bit bad, but I will go for it, though. Um, that should have popped a goodly amount of coal in there. That's fantastic. Uh, how are we doing with construction? Uh, you know what? Let's let's stop using up our steel on the vehicles. Uh, do we have enough of that? Well, I'll allow that one to finish since we, we're already most of the way there. But uh, yeah, let's let's hold off on building any more for now. Uh, all that steel, precious as it is, needs to go elsewhere. Now, this is going to need... Oh, well, actually, it looks like it's already started to saturate as it happens, which is quite nice to see. Now, I'm going to need to take the line here elsewhere as well. Uh, we've got coal that needs to be delivered down here. Now, how I'm going to get there is a, anyone's guess, really. Uh, probably the best way to do that would be to go through here, uh, over these, perhaps, and... Maybe well, everything is so tightly packed there. Uh, I wonder, can I can I send a conveyor belt over the top of a structure? No, <laughs> very sad. But I understand. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was quite quite the ask, to be fair. Uh, all right. Well, I'm starting to already imagine better ways that we could set this up, and one of them is that between production of glass and copper i am happy for those to be split on the same line so they would basically get half a belt's worth of coal at any one time but i would like iron and steel to receive an entire belt to itself so i'm going to just introduce a little cut here i'm going to place down a splitter and then i'm going to branch that off and we'll try and deliver to both the copper and to the the glass uh the gla well, glass forge would you say glass smeltery smeltery feels very much like a word that i'm making up mm. uh, i suspect that i might be uh right okay well everything is going okay we've already shifted all of the coal have we sent it somewhere useful we have indeed ah happy days okay let's get that steel production up and running again, please, because that was a little bit scary. Uh, hopefully that'll cover us for as long as we need it to. Uh, what I could do is perhaps move two of these excavators off this job and instead bring over the big excavator down here to help out with the coal. I think that actually might be a better way of doing it. So, big excavator gone. And down here, two small ones gone. And you can take the big one. And I will send the two small ones over there. I mean, between them, they still won't equate to the, the, the same earth-moving capabilities of the regular excavator. But uh, this is not really a priority task. We've already done the, the main part of the job that I wanted done. The rest of this is just 
cosmetic, really. Uh, the flattening of this area is starting to pick up speed, well, rather the raising, I suppose, well, the flattening of this top section at the very least, which I'm very, very happy to see. Lots of, uh, lots of loose uh, rocks being brought along to build up that ramp. I'd be very happy if we can finish that before I wrap up the episode, though that is going to require the use of several cuts. I'm not uh, not going to lie to you, that will require quite a lot of hop, skipping and jumping through time to see that all finished. Now, the truck's overloading edict is coming along a pace. How much will this cost? I've got more or less enough. I'll upgrade one. The other one can continue researching while that one gets upgraded. Uh, furthermore, ooh, okay. I would like to prioritize fuel going to the fuel depots. I think that would be the wisest course of action there. Uh, realistically, what I should do is sadly remove these so that it does prioritize properly. All right. This one I'm going to leave just for now because I do actually want to be able to shift coal around because right now between these two it would have to completely saturate those lines and I don't really want that to happen uh, whilst everything else is starved of coal but this one I will delete so it will properly prioritize delivery to the power system now if you're wondering what I mean by that is we've got two uh, belts with a throughput of 3.3 going into a splitter with two output belts, each with a throughput of 3.3. So in other words, whilst I have doubled the how fast I can take the coal out of the silo, because I'm, I'm moving it out at twice the capacity that this belt can take, the excess, 3.3's worth, will go this way. So basically, I am always truly splitting it if I do it this way. By removing it, it'll take me twice as long to empty the silo, but I can guarantee that it's going to prioritize the route that I want it to take. It's a little bit of a shame, but uh, it is what it is. All right, let's pop down a splitter, and we'll build you right about there. I think we'll be fine. And do we want a, a second splitter? I mean, I could, I suppose. Uh, sure, I guess. We can have that second splitter right about here we'll build that there have this splitter go straight up and this one connect up there and then we can delete this section of the belt now i'm not going to give any any uh split there i'm going to have it truly split between the sides or rather it's just not going to give preference because i i do believe you can give it a, an order to uh use alternating priority ports no 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 prioritizing coming oh actually no uh, i think perhaps uh, earlier on in the series there were some extra options there i believe there was one that allowed you to give it true um even split such that if one of the lanes was blocked it just wouldn't send it to the other lane it would wait until it could split it truly evenly and uh, that is not exactly what we wanted uh oh dear me I fear we might need to make a trade of more diesel here. Uh, okay, let's uh, go for 140, 140. Let's just get a little bit of extra coal so we've got more steel flowing into the uh, into the works. And hopefully see that then flowing into the depots as well. It is a little bit of a part right now, isn't it? Right, well, with this being built up, we should be able to see this start to get split between the copper and the uh, the glass. The only thing I will say here is I suppose what I could do is I could tell them that they're allowed to export from this for the time being. It kind of defeats the purpose of us setting this up, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, right now, the massive excavator can fill an entire truck in one go. So hopefully one of the trucks will just park up and uh, await delivery. Though the only problem with this is unless a truck specifically comes to this excavator, it just waits around for nothing. There we go, I should imagine. 
pop. There we are. Full truck load. Now, hopefully, I think this truck has decided to to wait on this excavator. It uh, it is a little bit frustrating the way they do that because that means that the uh, excavators. Oh wow! Did you have just a little bit there? Oh no! Well, that's one of twenty. Hmm. You've grabbed twenty. Okay, that's uh, a little bit peculiar. Uh, but the fact that it was kind of just sat there was uh, uh, implied that either the truck that came for delivery before wasn't fully uh, fully emptied. But for a dread moment there, I thought maybe the trucks had like an inventory capacity of 18. The number 18 is stuck in my mind somewhere, which would actually be quite frustrating because it would mean that realistically we would need to look at getting rid of uh of all of the smaller trucks and getting at least one larger truck in there just to service the large excavator for the time being uh these should be splitting evenly these should be splitting evenly perfect everything is going as it must all right okay well with that let's have a quick peek down here how are we doing for steel we're back to not really having much coal to deliver which is a problem, an ongoing one at that. Have we got any coal to pick up? Uh, well, we should be seeing a decent amount of the trucks coming in there and, and collecting that. Uh, I think perhaps I was trying to build too many vehicles at the same time as making an adjustment to the way that we were delivering coal. Honestly, what I should have done is prioritized sending it over here first rather than to the copper and then having to wait for that to empty out. So on that note, the easiest way for me to fix that is to actually get a line all the way down here and deliver that to the coal line over there. Then we can actually see that working properly. Now. If we are going to keep these bridges, the only purpose of these bridges is to allow vehicles to be able to reach that charcoal burner. Honestly, I know I'm being a bit silly by leaving that there, but I kind of like it. It's, it's almost like a piece of history of our colony at this point. Uh, I would very much like to... Why can it... Oh, I see, because it's changing direction? Hmm. That's such a bizarre, twisty turn it has to take if I wanted to go straight, but all right. Uh, we're just going to bring this along, hop over this pipe so that we don't uh, obscure access to this. And what I would very much like to do, if we uh, just bring it down just a little bit further, is get around... Oh! Oh, I can go through the middle. Wow. Okay, that's actually quite useful. Did I just have foresight before, or was I doing that for aesthetic reasons? I suspect I was doing it for aesthetic reasons. Either way, I am 100% okay with this. Now, let's have a look how much this is going to require. It's going to require 79 rubber. We're almost there, and 53 construction parts, which, again, we have. So, uh, that will be wonderful. Oh, we've managed to get a uh, Tier 3 research lab up and running. Perfect. How about we upgrade the other one then, given that? We've, we're have we going to need to bring in a little bit of glass, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, how are we doing down here? You've got... Oh, I do want to tell you to prioritize coal wherever possible, if you wouldn't mind. Now, how is the excavation going here? We're almost as far back as we're going to go with this. Part of the reason why we're struggling a little bit with coal is that we are starting to see the uh, the actual soil spill coming down. And so some of the effort of our excavators is being spent on things other than than uh, collecting coal and sending it on. Which is a little bit of a potch, but uh, tis what tis, I'm afraid. Uh, at this point, we've got the trucks bringing along the rubber and the construction materials as fast as they can so there's not much more for us to do there uh, we will want to run a, a route over here but right now i want all priority to be given to this line that being said as long as i can click on the priority uh, i should be able to to run this then without too much further concern uh, let's bring this out over here to about there we'll do 
What I would like is to snake this through, if I may. Put that there. And take this up. Oh, wow, that, that is perfect. And straight into the coal right here. That is marvellous. Okay, let's get all of that set up and running. And at that point, the only place that we make manual deliveries of coal... Uh, let's see. Are there... We don't deliver it down here. That None is required with this. I believe, yes, the only place we'll be manually delivering coal will be to our desalinate, uh, uh, is it, uh, desalinator plant. That's actually pretty amazing. Uh, that will take a massive load off our logistics fleet. Uh, that being said, it will be a little bit halting. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably a little bit faster for our trucks to carry things along but uh, still that is a big big upgrade for us currently we are doing well we're actually doing okay with uh, with steel whether that is going to continue or not i mean we're we're starting to run out of the coal again sadly but we have almost finished this line and once that's up and running then coal will start going in both directions and we have completed our research and now that we've got a tier 3 research lab the options are a large seawater pump this one will allow you to reach down from cliffs so you don't need to be on the coastline and uh, more or less at sea level to be able to use it not something that we particularly need uh, we've got the cargo depot which would increase the uh, the cargo depot size for us a little bit more so we would be able to have larger ships I imagine and finally wood alternative basically we switch wood and steel <laughs> there is no way we could sustain that right now but knowing how to do it is absolutely worth us doing so we're going to get that research and then following that we will grab cargo depot and finally just to say that we have researched everything that there can be researched in this game we will grab the large pumps as well but there we go we are now delivering coal direct now that being said i would actually like them to continue to import for a little while after this is delivered i'm not sure if that's going to be the, possible though i do believe that it, it may actually uh, may actually restrict that of its own accord at that point are we digging coal still or, or soil I, I think i think that's actually just the uh, soil spilling down from the top which is kind of interesting uh well i suppose we'll just go as f well maybe we should stop digging at that point um no no i won't do that because it does look like this excavator is in fact digging into that section so i'm gonna let that finish its job it uh, seems to be doing uh, a good job of it as it is but uh, as you can see we're starting to get more and more things automated so i'm pretty happy with that and all that remains now is to just allow a little bit of time to pass, I would say. Current research is too advanced for our lab. Oh, well, I mean, yes, that is fair. Do we have the glass? Yes, we do. So I can go ahead and quick build that one. There you go. Problem solved. Mischief has been managed. All right. Well, our trucks are continuing to level this area, so I'm going to give them a little bit of time to do that. And I'm probably going to have to expand out the iron mine very shortly. Hopefully... Our coal woes are a thing of the past, though. And just to emphasize that, let's go ahead and trade for some more coal as well. All right. I will pass a little bit of time, and I shall see you back here in just a second. It finally happened. After going almost the entire series, the oil wells have finally bled that reserve dry and actually caused a bit of a problem whilst doing it. Now, initially, I uh, was under the uh, mistaken impression that uh, my production just wasn't able to meet the demand as we have greatly expanded our logistics fleet we now have 27 regular trucks 37 large trucks a tree excavator and 10 large excavators uh, a tree harvester rather we no longer have any of the smaller 
excavators. But it does appear that these two oil wells were actually doing a good bit of heavy lifting for us. And once they went down, our ability, our capacity to meet demand was greatly diminished. So uh, I have been busying myself with repairing the oil wells out and about so that our one cargo hauler will be able to get out there. Also, currently everyone is working triple shifts just to get the crude oil in as fast as we can. Now, my hope is that once this oil well is uh, offshore oil rig rather is fully repaired and we've got three shifts working there as well we should be well on our way to fuel recovery but for the time being things are a little bit on the uh, on the difficult side if i'm perfectly honest now with that in mind and with these oil wells removed we probably do need to scale up our production capacity for oil regardless for diesel rather and to that end let's go ahead and build in the new cargo depot now this is a much larger version and uh, just as well because we're probably going to need it let's pop you about there shall we yes i think we shall perfect uh and we can also use much much larger fluid module for these as well so let's uh go ahead and pop all of these down and let's uh go full bore with this one and actually get the biggest version that we can right out of the gate we should have enough materials or at least to get it built in uh in the the medium term at the very least now I have gone ahead and stopped any kind of research because we have finally researched everything that there is available to be researched. Much sadness. That is it for all of that. Now, off uh, off the tank it goes. Fantastic. Let's have a look at which one you're going to. Probably this one is my guess. Uh, let's have a look down here. We'll have a triple shifts, please and indeed thank you. Uh, go home as soon as we are. We've dug ourselves out of this diesel pit that we find ourselves in. I will of course pop them back down to uh, two shifts, but uh, for the time being, needs must. I'm afraid. <clears throat> now another thing we can do is we can of course trade. I do have well, actually quite a lot of steel available at the moment, and uh, we might as well, I suppose. Sure, we'll we'll sink uh, 80 steel into that in order to get a uh, solid 160 diesel from it. And, well, actually, we're going to probably hold on to those. Let me just double check. How much do we need for this? Uh, we've got everything we need, maybe, question mark? Hmm. Uh, let's have a look here. I'm going to take iron off this and we're going to pop concrete slabs on uh there we go so i should be able to see now how much we've got in reserve uh yeah we should easily be able to make this so i'm going to just go ahead and quick build this and give the order how are we doing down here uh that one's going to have to wait for a little while now we uh warning there is no cargo ship available we'll need to repair one from the world map uh will we i don't think we will as it happens uh, well, I guess we need to wait for the other cargo ship to return, I suppose. But uh, I would like that ship to go and dock up over here. But before we do that, I suppose it does make sense for us to try and uh, hook everything up correctly. Now, uh, currently, one thing we can do is simply build these directly off the docks. Now, if we were to place these down like so this may be able to empty out the storages very quickly and i know that uh, quite a few people suggested we we go with this before now i'm a little bit hesitant uh simply because i i feel that there there is some uh flexibility in not doing it this way but i'm willing to to just explore and, and give it a shot sure we'll we'll see how this plays out uh, for the time being, we have more than enough of these, so I'm just going to go ahead and quick build all of them. There we go. Right down to the last line, and then I'll allow the uh, the trucks to do the rest there. There we are. Done, done, and done. And then finally, we're going to need some piping to hook all of this up. Now, there will be a significant throughput of... Uh, oil out of here so i might want to to account for that and upgrade these to the the higher tier line uh but i think i'll do that later for now i just want to hook this all up down here let's pop that there 
and ideally line it up. I would like it to rotate the other way, but sure. Uh, one more. And connect it up there. Perfect. And then from here up. And the same from here. If we can get down there. Up. And all the way down. There we go. And connected. Right. That will allow us to empty out this dock very, very quickly. Uh, hopefully, I will be able to... Well, I mean, right now, I guess we've just got to wait for these to empty out properly, but uh, there seems to be a reasonable amount of oil in there, but uh, I would like to delete this entire dock if I'm able. Let's see, it seems that the uh, crude oil storage on the ship hasn't really emptied out yet, which is a bit of an interesting one, why that hasn't happened. Is it 90... Uh, these don't seem to be emptying nearly as fast as I would like. Let's just go ahead and check on the map, see where the other wells are. Honestly, I suspect that we're going to be able to just go ahead and delete this and allow this ship to redock. I hope that's how it's going to work. This is a f definitely for science. Modules need to be removed f first. Ship has cargo. Okay, so we're doing this in a rather roundabout way, I guess. Uh, very well. Uh, that should be finished. There we go. Now, we're also going to need to make sure that we're actually uh, stocking this up with fuel, of course. And that will come direct from over here. But one thing we can do right now is pipe that out in this direction. Make sure it's uh, still at the higher elevation. Something like that. Oops. That is not quite how I wanted that to go. And usually it won't allow you to do that either. Uh, it's uncommon that it would allow me to place that without having to have an end point for the pipe. Hmm. Let's see if we can hop, skip and jump over there. Yes, we can. And I would like it very much if this will just travel underneath all the way and then hook up down here. So about there, I'm guessing. Perfect. Let's get all of that hooked up. And this way, the diesel that's being output will uh, split off in this direction, then uh, fuel up the cargo ship once it gets there. Right, let's see about deleting these, shall we? One, two, and as soon as that's done, we can delete the rest of the cargo dock, hopefully. Some uh, of our vehicles will come over and empty this out quickly. There we go. Let's get everything removed. Right now they have to empty out the modules before they can pull it down. Which makes sense. And I'm quite thankful for the fact that we don't waste resources. It allows me to be a little bit more brazen when deleting things, actually. Right, that is almost finished. I am going to be interested in seeing how that one lines up. Does that all go in the right direction the whole way? Yes, it does. Perfect. Okay, that is now being deleted. Can we delete that yet? No, we've got to wait for the last construction components to be removed, but thankfully the... Ah, no, you're, the ship is back. No, go elsewhere. Foo, I think I, I think I caught you. I think I caught you, but I do believe we lost an entire cargo. <laughs> oh, that's a shame, but oh well. It is a thing that happens. Right. Dock is gone, so... Cargo depot has no cargo ship. Can we assign one? It'll be interesting to see what happens. Will that... Is that ship going to just leave off the map and then come back? <laughs> I, I didn't notice a thing. No, it's clearly a different... Well, actually, it kind of is a different ship, to be perfectly honest. It's got significantly larger cargo capacity. So that does make sense. All right, we're filling this up with diesel right now. And that is going to be a big help moving forward. Okay, let's uh, slow down speed. I do apologize for the constant uh, dinging the game is doing to try and alert us to the fact that there is no fuel. But uh, we won't have to put it up with that for over long. Now, if we have a quick peek at the map, 
At this point, I would not be too surprised if our ship were able to fully drain an entire oil rig and, and as a result might actually wait for it to fill up before being dispatched to collect, which will be a bit of an interesting one. But at this point, what I would like to do is to copy over our current design. Now this will have a couple of effects. One, obviously we're going to make more rubber. We will make more uh, sour water as well, actually. So we're going to need to bear that in mind. We may need to expand out our wastewater processing. And once again, we, well, to be perfectly honest, probably not going to need to hook this up. We'll probably just allow all of the sour water to immediately be taken over there. Because as it stands, we don't need more acid than we've got. We've already got an enormous amount available to us. So I would be somewhat surprised if we ever need to hook up anymore. All uh, right. Well, let's have a quick gander and see if any of the oil rigs have recently been emptied. Yes, that one has been completely drained. It was completely full. So let's have a peek. Is the ship on the horizon? No, it is not. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to have to wait a little while for that one then. All right, well, while that's all going down, let's go ahead and set up a new oil refinery. And just like that, we have tripled our capacity for refining crude oil that actually took me a little while to do because i had to be i had to juggle the fact that half of my uh, logistics fleet was out of fuel but we finally got there there were a few uh, little little uh, complications with pipe capacity but by and large where I've upgraded uh, pipes to uh, the second tier of pipe, it was by necessity, not just for aesthetics, though. Generally speaking, the end pipe was always for aesthetics, because by then the, the throughput didn't need to be very high at all. But there we go. We are now producing and might even soon be uh, begin to uh, uh, backlog or rather back stuff the pipes and start to stockpile fuel again. It is very nice to be in this place. Our consumption of power though really hasn't changed all that much despite having added quite a few uh, quite a few refineries to this. Our ship is doing an amazing job of keeping the refineries fed with crude oil. We've actually got a fairly uh, fairly healthy uh, uh, backlog and stockpile of crude oil just waiting to be processed. I have had to adjust the digging zone. You'll notice that our excavators are starting to go down again. Oh my lord, coal is starting to become a, a scarce commodity once again. Something I'm not particularly happy about at all. But look at the progress we've made over here. Uh, it is taking very long though. I really want to finish that for you before I wrap up the series. Oh my lord, if I do nothing else. Uh, right, let's have a quick look. Uh, we just need a tiny, tiny bit of steel and we will have completed the ship bridge upgrade. Provides advanced radar capabilities. Now, realistically what this means is that when we... Oh my lord, we have not got, not got enough maintenance. Come on now. Come on now. You're telling me fibs. Uh, global need is 443 per uh, 60 seconds. And each one of these... Yeah, we, we've got three of these and they're producing 220 each per second. You shush now. You're telling me... Telling me lies. The way you call with. Uh, but we are just about to finish with the bridge. Realistically, the bridge isn't going to be the upgrade that actually lets us do anything more. But what we will do with it once we upgrade the engine will be worth significantly more than it was before. Also, that uh, that's a, an upgrade that I've been wanting to, to get on the ship for a little while. I, I think we need our bridge to, to be up upgraded. It's a little bit outdated there. But, ah, well, to be fair, most of the ship is a little bit outdated as well, so uh, I, I guess it kind of fit the aesthetic for a while. But uh, let's have a look. Almost finished. Let's speed that up just a little bit so we can get that all going. But at this point, we more or less see these stacks here all the time. Firing all the time. 
Uh, it's just as they uh, they empty out their cargo that the actual uh, steam and uh, well, I, I imagine it's steam rather than smoke uh, actually stops going, and that's just as it's dumping its cargo into the refinery. But boom, there we go. Look at that. That is a heck of an upgrade, to be fair. Wow, a lick of paint. Look at the wonders it does. We've even got more lifeboats. Ah, I'm very, very happy indeed. But let's have a look at what we're going to need for the upgraded engine. This will increase the speed and range of the ship. And we have everything we need. Oh, this is marvelous. Let's go ahead and grab that as quickly as we can. Stop telling me lies. I, I can see that we've got enough maintenance. Why must you fib so egregiously? Look, last month we gained 216. Game is having a funny five minutes, I think. Uh, but actually, on that note, we are actually starting to get to the point where the next couple of bits will be excavation rather than filling in. In fact, uh, this wasn't really my plan, but perhaps we could adjust the plan a tad. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we can adjust the plan a tad. How about we instead rise up to meet oh well they would take us a million years okay never mind never mind that plan was stupid we can't we can't make a ramp nearly steep enough to get through that in any any uh, appreciable time frame so uh, we're just gonna have to go with the original plan of do a little bit of excavating and then kind of between excavating and filling in slowly make our way up there but on that note we are actually going to need an excavator so um uh, sorry one of my vehicles you're going to be required to sacrifice yourself go forth be sacrificed there we go i need a new uh big oh actually we don't have enough electronics anymore we are all out oh that is that is deeply upsetting uh all right well i need to trade in three of those there we go and now we can boom there we go let's get you on the go there's game you're, you're making me think i can't trust you that's a terrible place for me to be uh we can just go ahead and i believe just push that one through so let's uh quick build i wish i could do quick build over here frankly uh but oh well Right, there we go. Excavator at the ready. Let's get you assigned to this. There you go. Now, it will initially probably complain that there is nothing to dig. But I'm about to give you something to dig. Please level this entire area to 14. Now, the beautiful thing about this is if I assign a truck here, that truck will simply follow this excavator around. And as that excavator uh, digs anything up, excavates it, it will immediately load it on the truck. And the truck, because this place has plenty of places where I need um, areas filled in, will simply dump it off in the uh, now accessible area. So that's actually fantastic for us. Right, let's uh, uh, spread this out. And then we are going to want you to bring this up all the way to there and from there we will spread out again i'm just marking this in at this point so that the excavator will know what i'm expecting of it but that will take us a decent way up in fact having the excavator at this point may r really really change how quickly we can get this all done because the excavator is going to be helping directly with filling in the other part so we might yet see that finished by the end of the episode i'm uh, actually quite quite pleased with that uh we only need a tiny bit more steel delivered please trucks stop dawdling my lord uh, let's have a look yeah we've got we've got enough steel there to be picked up perhaps one of the things i could try is replace more of my basic trucks with the uh larger trucks that might well help out a little bit, but uh, hopefully, no, none of these, tr none of these big trucks. Ah, that's that's a shame. Much sadness. Oh well, I guess we're just going to have to pass a little bit more time then for that. Though I did notice with some amusement that for a brief while, the trucks were taking a pretty pretty uh, ballsy shortcut. 
around the excavations that were going on. Uh, they quickly stopped once we pushed the excavation right up against the, the mountain, but uh, yeah, for a little while. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're getting everything done. Fantastic. For a little while, though, I was honestly just keeping an eye, wondering if it was coded in for them to crash. I can only assume it's not, but there was a part of me that was wondering if uh, if one of the trucks might just slide down the banking. But we now have a fully upgraded ship, as upgraded as we can make it. And so, what is the first thing we're going to do with this? Well, we're going to go and explore a little bit, I think. We should now be able to reach all of these locations. What lies? beyond the veil uh we shall find out let's get out there and explore shall we it's uh speed things along so that we can make that happen but on the way our vessel will be able to scan with its upgraded radar and get us more information now i'm a little bit concerned about the uh the path over here if i'm perfectly honest that is now more or less completely fallen away i kind of feel that we need to make this one uh frustrating because that's mostly dirt but i think if we don't we're gonna end up without any actual route down here because it's just gonna have been so much coal spill uh maybe some more excavators would be able to help with that we'll see oh wow that ship made it there stupidly fast what on earth Exploration in progress. Structure found. This location has a settlement. Well, that's uh, remarkably good. I was not expecting the ship to make its uh, its way here that fast. Uh, okay. Hooray. Electronics and microchips. So we can trade electronics for microchips and construction parts for coal. Okay, another place which we can trade for coal. Right, okay, what's all this about then? Unknown location. We need to explore this. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, we do. Uh, we've also got a battle there. Oh, with a ship with 470. That's a bit more than we've been looking at for a while. What is our battle rating? Really? It's double our battle rating? My lord. Well, I, uh... I guess that's not what we're going to be doing right now, but I'm I'm up for it. I guess we can certainly see what it would be like. Uh, I hope that... It's, it, hmm. <laughs> that would be one way to end the series, I suppose. Having our battleship completely destroyed. I would rather not, if I'm honest, but I guess... <laughs> well interesting to say the very very least but what are you waiting on is uh is our truck not there yet oh i don't believe well we allow for dirt so i can only imagine that the truck should be around uh i'll add a second truck just to be certain that you have someone to unload to but uh yeah well, they're actually making fairly swift progress there very swift progress okay let's have a look your refueled can we get down there we can can we get over here no i'm guessing that these green areas are actually the areas that uh at the very edge of the explorable terrain for us oh these are probably revealed by our radar i imagine all right well let's go and see what we can do with this fight <laughs> I am fully expecting to have to retreat. But if we can retreat, come back and repair, and then go back and fight again, then that, that's fine. It's a war of attrition that we will win. But uh, yes, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a concern, to be perfectly honest. Uh, let's have a watch of how this goes. <laughs> All these trucks just at the top. Are you even going to be able to reverse out of there? I have, I have my doubts. I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure you're getting away from that that point at this uh, this stage i'm not sure that you should have all gone up there to park the way you did look, look see exactly my lord you almost had had uh, had a spill there no designations available in the mined area oh oh my lord we've actually finished mining all of the uh, sand down here i wasn't expecting that 
All right, well, let's add in a little bit more then. And flatten that out there. Okay, well, hopefully you can make your way through that. Uh, before we run out of sand, you should be able to make fairly quick progress down through that. Let's have a look on the map. Where's our ship? Oh, there we are. We're moving in. We're exploring the area. Well, I mean, we fairly, we're fairly certain what to, we know what we're going to find. And that is because of the radar. But let's have a look. Oh, my lord. Okay. Can, uh, retreat. Flee! Wow. Okay, so I guess we're not going that way. That ship just raffle stomped us. We've been very happy, happily having guns that outrange our opponents and able to plink them a good couple of times before they're even able to fire back. And this is what that feels like for the defender. Uh, I can't say I approve, but who knows? Maybe we'll come back and uh, it will still be damaged. I guess we're going to for science that. I'm going to send the, the ship home, get it repaired, and we will return when the battle is joined. And welcome back. As you can see, we are off on our way for another round with what I can only assume is effectively some sort of mini boss. I did take the liberty of exploring the rest of the locations as well, and uh, we found a couple of other battles, some that uh, may even be uh, as dangerous, but no, it has fully repaired. Wow. I cannot see a way that we would be able to defeat this enemy. There is a 430 battle score battle over here with two enemies and an oil rig. There's another oil rig over here, but with a single ship with a 260 battle score, something much closer to what we would be able to uh, put forward. Uh, we've got one ship down there with a 400 battle score, but that is that is quite crazy. Interestingly, though, I also found this, a uh, groundwater well, as well as another settlement to go and explore. But as you can probably already uh, guess, f simply from the B-roll footage, should I include it, we have completed our ramp. I took a little bit of a shortcut right at the end there because, frankly, I've spent about an hour just letting time pass. And... Uh, <laughs> I wasn't fancying the the additional hour, maybe a little bit more, if uh, we continued on with this pattern until we reached the top. So we just took a little little bit of a 90 degree turn and then just finished off that ramp there. I am so incredibly happy with this, though. It actually looks really, really cool when uh, whenever something goes up. And you know what? On that note, let's go ahead and give them a reason to, shall we? Uh, we are going to delete this building and then build another beacon a little bit higher up. I think that would make a lot of sense indeed. But towards the end, we had 20 of the large trucks servicing five separate excavators just to get to the end because of that bloody sand. Oh, that was a pain in the backside. It did not want to stay put, understandably. It's sand. I don't know what else I was expecting. Nevertheless, it was quite frustrating to have to dig through. Uh, let's go ahead and get our ship repaired. I know that this episode is going to be a bit of a long one, but I really, really wanted to finish that ramp. If there was nothing else, I did. I, I mean, this is a completely, completely just... Uh, uh, a, a monument to my vanity, really, <laughs> at this point. It's a mega project that serves no real function other than being a mega project. But come on, it, it's pretty cool. I think I think it's cool anyway. I, I hope you think it is cool as well, because I've spent far too much time on it for no one else to agree. Uh, right, let's go ahead and place down our beacon. We'll pop it right on this corner, because that actually looks quite cool. And hopefully this will encourage 
a couple of our trucks to make the trip. There is so much going on. Ah, oh, look at that fantasticness. Ah, amazing. Taking, uh, taking that corner a little bit recklessly though, I'm going to be honest, my lord. Uh, we should see the uh, remaining building materials on their way shortly. Uh, there we go. I imagine you've got all of them. Yes, indeed you do. There we go. The final part. Uh, I'm so happy with this. Though I have no idea how we would be able to get through that, uh, that boss enemy. My lord. Right, go ahead and grab all of these materials. We will fix up the groundwater well. Oh, it's an interesting one because groundwater replenishes itself over time and realistically speaking, we've had no trouble with the desalinator. Perhaps if you built a really big city, that might be something you'd need to look into. And, and on that note, we'll go ahead and pop down an extra little bit there. But uh, I can't, can't really see why you'd need an external source of water. Uh, we're surrounded by the stuff. But maybe, maybe uh, uh, in the future, as more technology is unlocked, I'll hit some sort of uh, problem with that and uh, suddenly know why that would be required. But let's get down there, deliver the cargo. It is one of the last things that we're going to have to do. And then we're going to go ahead and check out this settlement before we wrap everything up. But uh, I do think that that's going to be the end of this series, at least for the alpha. And come the beta, I strongly suspect we'll be jumping onto a new map. I'm not even sure it'll be possible to continue or how much new content will have been added that would extend where we are in the late game versus change the way that the early game would play out. Uh, in much the same way as when I played through Graveyard Keeper for the second time, that is the second time I played through the full release, and we don't count the uh, early access that where most of the game wasn't, uh, wasn't finished yet. But... Uh, I played through the second run because the DLCs that were added created so much more opportunity for the early game to be different that it made sense to me to jump in and and start afresh and just see how that all panned out. All right, let's go and check out how this works. Uh, okay, so I, I guess this just allows us to bring water in. Huh. It's a bit of an interesting one. Uh, can we get down there? It looks like we can. That's fantastic. Can I then designate these to have certain types of products? Hmm. How would I tell my cargo ship what to carry? That's the big question there. Uh, we should be able to get a couple of extra peeps by uh, dropping some uh, unity on these areas here. There we go. Add both of them. There we are. That'll help out. But that is actually quite an interesting one. I suppose it's certainly certainly useful. Certainly not something to turn your nose up at. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if we can't take on this battle, shall we? Oh, perhaps we... Oh, no. We're all the way down here. We're, we're exploring. Uh, we've got some microchips. And... There's a piece of settlement we can trade with them. They just want... Construction part three for food. Okay. I, I mean, no, but it's good to know that you're there and then maybe we will at some point bring you bring you some construction parts just for you to have. Because frankly, I've got too much food. I can't quite have this completely pause as we eventually, slowly, creepingly work our way down. But if this is turned on, then we throw away some... Uh, amount of our harvest almost every time. It's a bit of a pain. There's no middle ground. It's either I don't have enough or I'm wasting it, which is honestly quite quite sad. But that is going to be it. Final look at our colony then. I really hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play, this uh, glimpse into Captain of Industry. And indeed, if you have picked up the game or added it to your wish list on the back of seeing this Let's Play, do let me know down in the comments below. It's always wonderful to uh, find out that I was able to uh, shine a light on a game that you were interested in that you might otherwise have missed. But that is going to be it from me for now, at least until beta arrives. Thank you for joining me, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful time, but until next time, do take care.